Hello, this is going to be a video demonstration of a recently announced product from EMC called EMC Avmar plugin for vCloud Director. This plugin is focused on enabling service providers to deliver backup services through to their tenants to in the public cloud. Here we're showing a service provider using the, the GUI for the plugin where he can look at his existing catalogs where he has his policy templates that are delivered to their customers. Here we have two catalogs, gold and silver, and each catalog has templates with different schedules and retentions applied to them. Those catalogs are what can be consumed uh, by the, the, the customers of the cloud provider. So the first step here in order to sign up a customer is actually to do a, a registration of the customer at an org level. Once that's done, the backup services are enabled for that customer, and we, we then need to start creating the resources within vCloud Director for this customer for backups. So the first thing is to actually create this repository. A repository is mapped uh, to uh, actual physical appliances, so here we're, we're mapping it to a data domain device. We're also putting limits for this tenant. So the tenant's only allowed to consume a certain amount of bytes per day of backup storage and also as a total for their VDC. We're then going to go and start creating the policies. So here you see the policies listed. They're a part of the catalogs that were pre-created by the service provider. So we're creating a gold policy. Uh, we'll, we'll also skip forward uh, and create a gold premium and ad hoc only policy. We're then going to set the policy uh, for gold as default meaning that all vApps that get added to the VDC would automatically be protected by this gold policy. So we're going to switch over after that signup process to an existing customer of this cloud provider, MegaCloud. Uh, you can see there's a, a VDC that's been created and there's a couple of vApps within the VDC. If I select these vApps, I can actually go over to the right side where there's this apply policy tab. And if I wanted to, I could set them to the default, uh, or I could set them to a different one, like silver premium, which I've just done. I can go to the top right under the policy area, and I can see that silver is actually the default for the VDC. Uh, but I can also click that policy manager tab, which takes me to look at the policies. Here we see the silver premium, and I can see that the two vApps that we had selected uh, for a manual assignment are listed. Other than that, you can actually see that there's schedule and retention settings that could be modified, uh, and these schedule and retention could be unique to this customer. Now let's actually do a backup. So we click the backup tab, and we're going to click a vApp there, and then we'll hit the backup button. In the bottom right corner, you see that there's a backup task that's appeared. If I wanted to, I could click the view task button here, or I can see in the bottom left that there's a in process task. Now as we look at the task, I can click it, and in the bottom I see the details about that task that's running. We're going to switch over now to the tenant view. So I'm going to log in as an org admin to vCloud Director, and I'm going to see that there's actually a task running on my vApp. So we're actually informing the tenant in vCloud Director that there's something occurring to their vApp. Now we're going to switch back to the, uh, the plugin, and you can see that it's still running, but it's going to finish momentarily. And in the bottom right, as it does, you see that there's a task that appears. So now we're going to focus on the, the monitoring section here. So I can see under the monitor tab that there's different filters, whether it's in progress, failed, succeeded, completed. I'm going to click succeeded, and here you can see a list of all the tasks that have succeeded recently. So as I click on this ad hoc backup, I'm going to see that those details in the bottom uh, pop up again. Now we're going to switch over to the restore side. So if I click on the VDC, I can see the vApps that we saw previously. The restore side allows us to also understand the replication configuration for the vApps. So in the top right, you can see that there's actually not a default replication policy applied. If I wanted to, I could apply one, and I could also apply it at a vApp level. So the policies for replication are handled in a very similar manner to the backup policies. Now I click the vApp. I can see here that there's certain backups that exist for this vApp. If I wanted to, I could click any of the backups, and I could actually edit the retention and extend those backups uh, from a retention perspective. If I also wanted to do a restore, which I'm doing now, I could click the restore to new or original. As I click restore to new, you can see that there's a lot of details on the left side that come up. So we're protecting uh, not only the, the virtual machines for the virtual application, but all of the details around the leases, the start order, networks, uh, metadata, really all of the critical things that make a virtual application different within vCloud Director. So as we go through the restore, it's going to ask me whether I want to restore these key items. Uh, I'm choosing yes, and I'm also going to restore the vApp networking that's associated for this vApp. 
The last screen is the network connections. So I can also choose to enable the connectivity for the VMs themselves to the vApp networking. Just like the backup, you can see that the task is showing in the bottom right corner. I could click that view tasks. I'm going to go down and click the bottom left corner to see the active task running. Now we're going to switch back over to the vCloud director view for the organizational admin. And this org admin sees that the, the vApp is being restored to new. And then he also saw the external processing as before. Now we're going to let this task finish. And as it does, you're going to see towards the end that we not only have virtual application status, but we have virtual machine resource status. So here you can see that there's a virtual application updates that occur, and then also virtual machine updates that occur. And these have to do with the networking changes that we selected within the restore process. So the last thing that we'll do is switch over to vCloud Director, uh, take a look at the networking, and we'll see that the virtual application networking has been restored as we expected it to. Thank you for watching the video. If you're interested in more information, please attend EMC World 2014 in Las Vegas. There we have a session, DPAD02, where we'll cover this information and we'll also cover more information about the APIs and the extensibility capabilities that are delivered through this plugin. Thank you very much and have a good day.